Dude, how do you feel? It feels good, you know, it's finally uh, finally come and it's good to move on and, you know, take the next step in my uh, football career. Cool, man, yeah. I mean, you've been waiting like a long time. You've known that you've been going to LSU. Has the excitement grown for you over this past season? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really grown for sure. You know, seeing them have the success that they've had, it's, uh, it's a really cool thing to see and it's cool to know that I'm going to be a part of that and stuff. For sure. You can also just look at me. You don't need okay. to look at the camera. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Just a conversation between <laughs> you and me. Yeah, um, but what are you most excited about playing at the next level? You know, I'm just most excited about, you know, getting developed as a player. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of team building, so that team aspect of, uh, of the team and stuff will be really fun and really cool. And it's just cool that, like, you know, you're going to school, but the other half of your life is just football and just you get to focus on football and school and that's it. Yeah. Still recording, and uh, for you, what are your expectations going into your freshman year? Maybe just your college career goals in general. Yeah, you know, I just want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight for playing time. I'm i uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. You know, develop as much as I can. The first year is kind of a more of a building year and stuff. So it's uh, it's more getting you know into college swing of things and stuff. So I just you know maybe if I get a little playing time here and there, that's that's a goal for sure. How do you feel going into a team that's ranked number one in the country? Right? It's crazy. It's <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's hard to even fathom. I haven't even um, hasn't really sunk in that they're going. You know, because I, I can go up there early and practice with them for the national championship the week before. Oh. Um, so yeah, that really hasn't sunk in. You know, I'm sure it will. If Are they, you gonna do that? It will if they win this week. I will. Yeah. So, um, so you know, once I get up there, I'm sure it'll really sink in and uh, you know become a reality. And it's just crazy. It's, it's an awesome atmosphere up there. And you know, to compete with those guys and. It's just a great opportunity. Is it almost nerve-wracking a little bit? Like, these are the best players in the country, and you're going to have to practice with them? I mean, it is, but, you know, I'd like to think that I could compete with them and oh, stuff. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't have that mentality, then, you know, you're not going to ever succeed, really. So you got to have the mentality that you're just as good, if not better, than these guys, you know? Yeah. What are you going to be majoring in when you're there? Uh, I'll probably do some sort of science or pre-med because I plan to be an orthodontist when I'm older. Man, yeah. Where does that love come from? Uh, I did a shadow with uh, Burton Orthodontics probably two or three years ago, okay. um, and I just really liked that, and it's just seemed cool to me since then. You got a good set of teeth too. Yeah. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> um, so, but I mean, Louisiana, man, very different place. I've I've never been there. I only assume it's a very different place. I mean, what are you looking forward to about that area? It's a really cool area. You know, I, I like all the whole. You know, they got. When I went on my official visit, we went uh, bow fishing and stuff, and just that outdoor stuff is really cool to me. Uh, you know, it's near like a coast and stuff, so you yeah. can use a lot to do. Um, and the food down there is unbelievably good, so that's <laughs> yeah. uh, really looking forward to that for sure. No, man, e eat a lot, eat a lot. Um, so, I mean, I know you've answered this before, but why Louisiana State? I know they're number one in the country, but there must have been something else that really brought you to there. Yeah, I mean, before I committed, I didn't know they were going to be number one and stuff, so. Um, a bunch of things that, that played into that where, you know, they don't have a ton of tight ends because they've always had a blocking offense, so they've recruited bigger, more blocking tight ends, so they don't have a bunch of pass-catching tight ends, and I believe that that's the type of tight end I am, so it's a, it's a great opportunity, opportunity for me to go in there and compete and stuff and have a chance to play pretty early, and, uh, you know, they changed their offense this year, and it's shown, and before I committed, they just were, by word of mouth, that they were doing that. Um, right. But now it's really set in that they're doing it and they're, really they're in the full swing of things and stuff. And uh, it's a great opportunity as a tight end to play in that offense. Yeah, LSU obviously gets the best players in the country all around America. But coming from a smaller town like Grand Junction, what does it mean to be able to represent Grand Junction when you go to one of the best football schools in the country? You know, it's awesome. It's, uh, it's a great town. It's a great family-oriented town. It's a great place to grow up and stuff. But it's not really known for sports. But there's a lot of talent here and there's a lot of other players that have the chance they just don't you know get their name out there and stuff so it's awesome to be able to represent Grand Junction and Colorado. And what's it like just kind of finally putting the pen to the paper today but also having so many friends and family come and support you throughout your football career? Yeah that's really what it is that's 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 what got me here today and that's what I'm why I'm able to sign is because that friends and family they've supported me tremendously through this whole opportunity and it's been uh, it's been great to have them behind me.